welcome back friend in this lecture we'll see the boot p or boot strap protocol this is the upgraded version of r a r p means reverse yes what exactly we already see in our previous lecture address resolution protocol okay now a uh, boot strap protocol allows a host to configure itself dynamically at boot time that's why the name of this protocol is boot p means it's automatically configure at the time of booting your system that's why the name gives to it boot p boot strap protocol now here this protocol provide three services these are the three given services ip address assignment detection of the ip address of serving machine if you want to detect the ip address of any machine then it will easily detect with the help of boot p protocol now the third one is what the name of a file to be loaded and executed by the client machine means you also trace the loaded file of the client machine with the help of boot p protocol boot p packet is assumed to never fragment means you cannot be fragment the packet of the boot p next boot p uses two well defined port number that is most important thing here why because of so many times in a competitive exam net set or gate the port number will ask you here udp user datagram protocol the full form of udp is what user datagram protocol so udp port number 67 is used for the server and udp port number 68 is used for the boot p client okay please keep remember this one or take a note on your notebook notebook while you are watching this video okay it will definitely help you uh, in a competitive exam this kind of uh, questions are mostly asked in uh, exams okay and then next protocol is what dhcp that is what dynamic host control protocol it's a simplest protocol they they are used to a uh, centrally allocated and manage tcp ip protocol transmission control protocol or internet protocol configurations of a client node client node means what a client end user uh, then next allows to us define pools of ip address which are then allocated by the server here these protocols the both protocol um, arp rarp boot p or dhcp are basically work on a ip address as well as mac address means whenever a client want to send a data to the another client or a server then first of all it will send a request to the destined device after that receiving that request by the destined device the device send back it to the mac address and a response that i am ready to receive your data you can send me the packets after that re receiving the request from the destined device sender will ready to send the packet to the destined device so after that sending the packet from the sender machine the packet goes through the switch then router of the uh, sender side then then the switch of the receiver side and a router of the receiver side okay that's it thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe my youtube channel there as infotech please don't forget press the bell icon it will help you 
to notify the upcoming videos whenever i will upload the notification it will comes in your phone in your device to indicate you to notify you see my videos thank you